I have something really important to talk to you guys about today. And to make my point, I gotta tell the story. I know how much you guys appreciate my, my ramblings. <laughs> my incoherent ramblings. But there's, there's some coherency to this. So let me just get right to it. Uh, when I bought my first bike, uh, you know, I was all gung-ho. I wanted to ride every day. If there was somewhere to go, I was gonna ride my bike. You know, it was an exciting time in my life. <laughs> this is starting to sound like an epic story. Trust me, this isn't epic, but, but it's here to make my point. So I rode my, my bike everywhere. I rode it to work, even though I didn't have that far to go. I rode it to get groceries, and I wore my backpack and shoved everything inside. <laughs> it, was, it was just that time in a guy's life when you have your, your motorcycle, even the most tedious activities of life can make, be made fun because you're taking your motorcycle there. Well, all of that changed uh, one day when I was pulling out of a parking lot, didn't see a car coming, and I'm gonna illustrate for you, didn't see the car coming from the other direction, right in front of me, turning right, I was turning left. Uh, I was about to pull out, saw the car, and I did one of those rookie mistakes where I locked up the front end, I, I slammed on, I, you know, I gripped the, the front brake really hard and my my handlebars were turned and so you know those of you who've been riding for a while or those of you who just know if you've got your handlebars turned and you're, you're you grab the front brake your bike's going down so another rookie mistake that i made was i tried to stop it so i held on with my right hand and i did not separate my shoulder but what was already an injured shoulder from you know from playing baseball all those years growing up and playing football full contact football uh, american football that is for all of you who are watching internationally and you know just wear and tear and that was kind of the, the straw that broke the camel's back uh i needed shoulder surgery so at the time my insurance wasn't great knew i was gonna have to shell out a bunch of money and just like that after only having my first motorcycle for, for less than a year, I think it was, I had to sell it. I had to sell it to pay for my shoulder surgery. And at the same time, you know, I wasn't gonna be able to ride for a considerable amount of time too because uh, I'd be rehabbing my shoulder. So I knew I was gonna be out for a while. And so it was really hard, but I sold my motorcycle. And, you know, there was a part of me at the time that thought, I'm not gonna ride again. That was a nice adventure. You know, I turned 30 and this wasn't too long after that. That was a nice adventure, but I might not ever ride again. But <laughs> I loved riding too much. My wife knew I loved riding too much. And it wasn't that long later uh, that I bought another bike. And you know, the rest is history. I've had uh, three other bikes besides those first two since then. But the point of my story here is that when you get into riding, the change in the lifestyle, right? Because riding, there is a quite a bit of a, of a, of a curve. It's, I wouldn't call it a learning curve, but there's an adjustment that you have to make in your life where, you know, you're riding instead of, of driving, you're having to worry about your helmet, your gear. If you're a person who cares about safety, right? Uh, if you're, you gotta get your gear around, you're likely either carrying a backpack or a satchel. It's not a purse. It's European! But there's an adjustment that you've got to make to life when uh, you start riding. And I will tell you, when I sold my first bike, I felt like, you know, there was quite a bit of hassle to riding. Do I really want to deal with that again? Smithers, make me slap him. But very quickly, when I, you know, especially after I started missing it, you realize, no, no, no. None of that hassle is really a hassle it's just part of 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 the culture and, and the lifestyle of riding a motorcycle and so you, you got you get you know you figure it out you figure out where you're gonna put your helmet you figure out how when you get to a destination maybe where you're gonna put your gear uh, these are all things that you just figure out uh, and they stop becoming hassles and it just becomes kind of a way of life so uh, I guess the, the main point of my story here is to not give up. If you if you bought your first motorcycle, 
and something happens. You gotta get rid of it, you gotta sell it. Maybe you move to a place or an apartment where you can't keep it. Don't give up. You've got that license, you earned that license. You, you know, you acclimated to the culture and whatever circumstances in your life that made it so that you decided, you know, I've got to give up writing for the time being, make sure that that's it. That it's just for the time being, that you will come back to it. Because trust me, you'll miss it. Um, unless you decided for yourself that when you sold your my motorcycle that riding wasn't for you, you will miss it. I, I, that's, I don't put a guarantee on a lot of things that I do or say, but I guarantee you, you will miss riding. Uh, you know, I didn't really didn't think that I would miss riding as much as I did and as quickly as I did But it was pretty much uh, Once I got healed up from my 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 shoulder surgery I was like, okay, like time to start looking for a bike again because I'm ready to go So I'm interested in hearing from from all of you uh, Who have had a similar experience of for one reason or another after you got your motorcycle license or your first motorcycle uh, and then having to get rid of it or sell it or maybe it got an accident and you weren't able to get another one I'm interested in hearing your stories of uh, maybe get either getting back into writing or, uh, of, or your passion for writing because this is one of the things I love about having a channel here is, is hearing all of all of the stories out there and hearing everyone else's experience because uh, that's one thing you'll, you'll learn really quickly is that this community of writers is a tight one so make sure you leave it in the comments if you got something to say on this topic and make sure you stay involved but guys that's all I've got for you today make sure if you like this video you hit that thumbs up down there which is the like button and if you haven't already smash that subscribe button guys if you're out there writing be safe and if you're not writing get ready I'm that one guy and I am out